Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. Good morning, I'm Tim. All right, it is the middle of January, yes. right? It's been a, I had to go back to work this week, it sucked. <laughs> like it was horrible. Like it was all great, the kids were amazing and all that, but being off for two weeks for the holidays and that second week being after, after the holidays, yeah. Made this week like the longest week ever. Yeah, even Lex, our son, uh, said how challenging of a week it was to all of a sudden go from, you know, no structure to, uh, to eight hours of class. You know? <laughs> so. Yeah, I think that's even more challenging than what I had to deal with. <laughs> Let's give a shout out to our financial supporters, uh, Patreon. Uh, if you're doing that with us, then you know you get the videos early and there is some Patreon only content on there. Yeah. We do put stuff up there that we don't put on YouTube so that the, the financial supporters, the paid members get that stuff. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yes, if you're interested in doing that, supporting the show financially, you can do that through PayPal or Patreon. It's linked below for both of them. Uh, we'd love to have you on the team. Uh, so for Christmas this year, for the holidays, we got some, well, let me show you some things we got. First, <laughs> my sister April went online uh, and she created the Plant Based Dad's cookbook. Like, is this really cool or what? I opened this, you know, she sent me, the coolest gifts every year and I opened this and I was like uh that's our picture that's why and I opened it up and I thought maybe it's just like a book to write stuff in but no she actually went and got our recipes from the website yes. right and created a book of 48 of my recipes just randomly to the ones that she thought looked good or whatever and created a cookbook that's that's our cookbook yes so very cool this thank is, you April this, but it's amazing. Yeah. We absolutely love it. Uh, and the book has like microwave hints. It was a cookbook format, yeah. right? That had all this kind of like cookbook stuff, right? Yeah. So definitely like this is something that we've been wanting to do for years, years. Yeah. So, so I to mean, see I, it, a little glimpse of what it could be. Right. And that's exactly what it is. This little glimpse of, of it just spurred me to be like, we really need to get our cookbook yeah. out, right? So thank you, April, for that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this. It's one of my favorite presents, probably my favorite present this year. Right behind that, you know, I love America's Test Kitchen. Yeah. We have their original cookbook, Vegan for Everybody, yeah. right? Uh, and that's where our chickpea salad comes from and all that. And I've made a few recipes. America's Test Kitchen makes everything like 50 times or something, right? Well, they just run it through so they know like what this does or this yeah. feature brings out this. And it's kind of sciencey, but I like it. It is very sciencey. Well, they have a new cookbook out, the complete plant-based cookbook, uh, 500 inspiring, uh, flexible recipes for eating well without meat. And uh, I guess, I, did your mom get this for us? Exactly, so I've had this in the Amazon cart for a while, just not ready to pull the trigger. And then um, my mom was asking what I want, so I gave her a number of items and this was on it. So so thank you, mom. Um, but I'm excited to look at this and tweak it to make it our own. Um, so anyway, just a lot to go through. Um, so this, <laughs> This is our New Year's gift. So April was just asking me about falafel. There's a falafel recipe here. Every time I'm going through a page, I keep going, oh, I want to come back. Like everything in here looks amazing and the pictures are beautiful. So I can't wait to, to jump into this at some point and make some recipes. These things are worth trying at least Absolutely. for sure. Uh, I, even if you're just inspired to do other things. Yeah. So let's talk about today's dish. So I... No, you I, haven't done anything other than cook. Yeah, so I don't yeah. want to get into my whole life-changing story right now, but... Uh, if you've watched the last few videos, you know that I am uh, doing a weight training program, more of a bodybuilding program, actually, although I'm not a bodybuilder, but I am doing what they do. Uh, and I had, I have a, a, a protein threshold I have to hit. And you know, as much as I hate talking about protein and vegan protein and all that stuff, uh, the fact is you can't build muscle without protein. So, yeah. And I'm kind of going through the same thing. I have a different trainer, different methodology, but kind of the same. And so hitting that threshold to not to not lose muscle while losing weight, um, we've kind of increased some protein, I guess. We've right? had to. So uh, it's now incorporated into everything we eat. I have a whole story coming out that I'm going to do about this. I'm, I'm vlogging all this every day. I'm recording everything that's happening. I'm just not ready to do it right now. So uh, because I want the before and after pictures to look completely different before I show those horrible before pictures, right? I want them to at least go, oh, well, at least it turned out nice, yeah. right? So having something in the morning to start off with, a foundation of um, good food, we've come up with this high protein just egg scramble that we want to share with you today. Yes, and this is one of our favorite breakfasts. So we've been kind of making this a lot lately. Uh, it is based on the just egg, uh, you know, product. We do have uh, up here a, a just egg copycat made from mung bean. You can absolutely use that. 
Uh, you have to soak the, the beans overnight, the mung beans overnight. I did not do that when yeah. I made this, so I was kind of forced to just use just say. Right? So you definitely can make this whole food. We're just showing another option that's a little bit more convenient. And this is really quick to put together. Absolutely. Right? All right, high protein scramble. Ready for it? Ready. Let's do it. To get started with our scramble, we're going to need some textured vegetable protein. Here I'm using a half a cup or 30 grams. Next, I'm going to add about one quarter to half a cup of water, and I'm going to mix this thoroughly to kind of get all of it moistened. You can see here that I'm just kind of mixing it together. I don't want to saturate it, but I want to get it wet enough so it becomes like a, like a texture for the scramble. Now that that's done, I'm going to set this aside for five minutes and let it do its thing. Next, I'm going to start with a fry pan here. This is my Avalon series from Doll Strong. I absolutely love this pan, and it's gorgeous. It's a copper core, five ply. There's a link where you can get your own Doll Strong products right below this video. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of water and turning on the heat. Next, I'm adding 100 grams of tomatoes. And I'm just going to move this around with the wooden spoon, and I'm going to let this cook on medium till the tomatoes start breaking down, which you can see is happening right here. After that, I'm gonna be adding some broccoli. This is about a half a cup of broccoli or 35 grams. I'm gonna move that around and let it stir fry together to kind of let it all get soft and broken down a little bit. And you can hear it just doing its thing. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to sweat the veggies here. And I'm just gonna keep moving it around. I don't want anything to stick. If it starts getting uh, where it's sticking to the pan, then just add a little bit of water. Now I'm adding my TVP. It's all nice and uh, soaked with the water and it is gonna be like a, a ground beef texture. And I'm dropping this in here. It'll give me some extra protein and it'll give a real nice texture to this scramble. Then I'm gonna grab my wooden spoon and just give it a little mixy mixing and move it around. I wanna make sure nothing's sticking. So I'm still on kind of medium heat, moving all this around every few minutes just so it doesn't stick. Now the TVP will absorb any water in there and you, it will start sticking. So here I'm just adding just a little bit more water just to keep the bottom of the pan moist. And I'll just keep moving it all around, making sure nothing sticks. There might be a little stickage, but I don't want it to burn or anything. After that, I'm adding some of this uh, field roast uh, apple and maple sausage. This stuff is really good. It's loaded with protein. So I'm gonna put in about 44 grams of this. Uh, I've got the smaller one, so two of them are 44 grams. So it's two small sausages. Otherwise, if you have the bigger ones, it's one big sausage. I'm gonna keep adding uh, a little bit of water here, a little bit at a time, because the TVP is just soaking it all up and it is kind of sticking to the pan a little bit, but that's normal. Just keep it moving and you'll be fine. Next, I've got my spices. I've got a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric. I've got one half a teaspoon of chili powder and one half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna throw that in there and get this all mixed up. And again, I'm gonna continue to scrape it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Again, I'm just moving this around. And that's all I'm doing here is moving and scraping, moving and scraping. And if I need water, I'm just adding about a tablespoon at a time. Now I'm adding about three ounces of black beans or 85 grams. And I'm just gonna mix, oh, look how good that looks, right? I'm just gonna mix this up together. Man, the beans just give it like this Southwest look. Oh, holy smoke. I can't wait to eat this. We're not even halfway there. So I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna make a little well here. And I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of just egg. Now you can use the mung bean recipe mixture that I have uh, on the site, that's fine too, but I didn't soak the mung beans overnight to do that, so I'm just using some just egg right out of the jar. Now I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. I want the just egg to get into like an eggy, like omelet kind of consistency. So I'm not gonna touch it, I'm gonna leave it undisturbed just for about, I don't know, two minutes. It will stick to the bottom of the pan and that's okay. You'll move it around with the uh, spatula. You'll just check it every now and then and kind of see, see how it's kind of holding together now when I move it? So it's ready, like I can start scrambling this now. So I'm gonna just take my, my uh, flipper here and just kind of flip it over and so I can get the other side cooked too. And it'll become a lot easier as it cooks. In this early stage when it's wet, it's really hard to do that. There you go, you can see right here. Now it's starting to look like uh, an omelet or scrambled eggs. So it's all holding together. This looks like age. Now I'm just gonna kind of mix it all up here. I'm gonna break it up and let it mix up with the rest of the food. And while I'm doing that, I'll use my scraper to make sure that there's nothing stuck to the bottom of the pan. There will be a little bit of stickage, but it shouldn't burn. My last ingredient here is 30 grams of raw baby spinach. I'm trying to get as much greens as I can into my meals these days. All right, I'm gonna take a little uh, spoonful here. You can see, look how good that looks. A little bit of egg on there, some black beans. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna give that a taste here and oh man, it is good. It's ready to go. Now it's time to plate this up. I love these little desert cactus plates. They're so much fun. I'm gonna spoon this stuff out. I've actually weighed it on a scale to get the full amount. I'm cutting it in half. So we each get 
the exact amount because we're both tracking our calories. And I'm just gonna dish this out until it's all on two plates for us. You can see here, it's all out there. I'm just, these are really big plates. I'm just kind of making sure I get every bite of it because that's all our nutrients and our protein right there for the meal. And here it is, two beautiful plates, a breakfast scramble. This is gonna be so amazing and I can't wait to eat this. Yeah, baby. All right, so I'll be honest with you. I ate mine. <laughs> I Tim, <laughs> waiting for Tim to get cleaned up to do the video. Just starving, so I just ate it. Uh, and it was so good. So, uh, Tim, let's uh, jump into this. You have a little topping you like to throw on yours. Yeah, if I just thought I'd show you as an example, we have some Hatch Valley salsa. Salsa's a great idea to add some moisture or or extra flavor, some heat. Yeah, and then it's, it's really low calories. It's like 10 calories for two full tablespoons, which is great. All right, so guys, take a look at this. I mean, you can see here how full this plate is. Look at all of that texture from the TVP, the black beans, like just kind of gives it a Southwest feel. You've got the broccoli in there. Tim's got his salsa on there. The texture of vegetable protein gives it a kind of like there's a, like a, I don't want to say ground meat, but kind of a, another whole dimension of texture and flavor. Yes. All right, let's dig into this. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you, <laughs> but I'm sorry. I could not wait. I was starving. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Did you like the uh, cactus plates that we use? Aren't they fun? Where did you get these? I think Cost Plus, like maybe. Oh, Cost two Plus years ago. Market? Yeah. They have some cool stuff, right? Yeah. They had that little, some cactus on it. I thought that'd be cool. It was probably for the Arizona. All right. Yeah. Let's go with the macros. Uh, I have, I now have a nice uh, notebook here with all my recipes printed up and in like this, like, yeah. savor stuff, which is great. So, this I love. What is your favorite part about this? Uh, I would say probably the the different textures in it. It has a it has like a like if you want to IHOP or a scramble type of thing. It has that kind of texture. So many different textures. So many. Things. Mine is the amount of protein and not the fat. Well, so roll true. with that. All right, let's look at let's look at the macros right here. Yeah. You can see here. Here's all the ingredients here we've listed here. All the everything from this, the the. Uh, the just egg all the way down through the, the broccoli and everything's listed there. If we go to the actual uh, macros, the nutrition facts, you can see the whole recipe. Remember, we doubled it, so we halved it, but if you make one serving it, the whole recipe is 390 calories, 390.5. I guess you could say that's 391 if you're rounding. The whole dish is only 10 grams of fat. Uh, if you look at the carbohydrates, 40 grams of carbohydrates, that's pretty good, but 17 grams of fiber, uh, most of that coming from uh, the probably the black beans, right? And the, the mung bean. We've got uh, protein, 40.8 grams of protein. So if you're looking for a high protein breakfast for under 400 calories, it's a 390 calorie dish. Yeah, oil free. Oil free. Not a lot of fat. Yeah. Um, we're, and since July, we've been doing, we've been looking at f under 400 calories, right? Yeah, we've been doing under 400 meals. Yeah, but the issue is, right? I have a number that I have to stay under for calories. And to get the amount of protein I need as a plant-based eater yep. at that amount of calories is challenging. Yep, right? but we are here to show you how. We're going to okay. have a lot more videos of that. You can eat an egg white and get the same amount of protein for like a third of the calories. But who's right? doing that? But, but I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, a meat, I'm not going back to eat the animals. Yeah. So it is more challenging for us because our, our food is based on carbohydrates and carbohydrates are high in calories. Yeah. But so, are we smart? Can we make this work? We are going to make Absolutely. this work. Absolutely. And, and okay. I love a good challenge. All right. Okay. So there's all the facts right there. An amazing high protein uh, breakfast, 390 calories, 40, 40 something grams of protein, 40.8. You could say 41. Absolutely delicious. You should incorporate this into meal if you're into bodybuilding or if you're into getting uh, more protein to sustain muscle, right? Yep. To sustain muscle. Sustain muscles, right. All right. That's our yep. video for today. Hit that like button, show some love. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on that bell, and you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Uh, what do you think about uh, the recipes we're doing now? I know they're, they're a little changed from what we've been doing, but I'm going down a different path, and this is absolutely working. Uh, I'm at a weight today that I, I don't, I, I mean, I always look at when the last time I was this weight, and it's always, right now it's back in uh, 21. But I haven't seen this weight in a long time, and it's we're still going. Yeah, it's still good. All right, we'll see you next time. Happy New Year. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.